Hello guys and welcome here to the Lip National Series. This is race number 24, I believe, here today from the Lucas Oil Raceway Park in Indianapolis. Of course, this is race one of two in Indianapolis. These guys will be back on track on Saturday when they take on the Indianapolis Road Course. But of course, we got to get through this event first, so don't jump the gun quite yet, guys. Let's get going. Starting on the pole will be Dylan Ibrahim in that number 36. You gotta wonder for him, is this the race he finally breaks through and gets that first win of the year? Of course, on his outside, he's going to have the 39 of Nathan Faden. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Tyler Faden. So, we'll have to see what happens. Um, so, keep in mind, let's take a look now at your playoff scenario. Um, of course, factoring in, Daniel Gitterow would be the number one seed at this point. But you see again, it's still Christmas colors. And of course, after today, there's two more races for these guys. Um, one thing to also note, Keith Stevens, your Talladega winner, he is on the outside looking in, but he is 39 points back. He's almost a full race back of Michael Collins. And of course, he's going to have to really close up the gap here. Um, keep in mind, um, let's see. So you want to be within 123 points. Of course, he will be after this race because next race is not a double points race for these guys as the field is split. But there is a double points race looming and it comes at Rockingham for these guys so they do want to be within striking distance and of course with Nathan F or Tyler Faden up front if he wins this regular season championship he could very well uh, take over you know he could bump one of these winners out so that's another possibility as we go through the next few races of course this weekend we will be settling the truck in the cup playoffs at Indian at the uh, Indianapolis Oval. That'll all be on Sunday over there. But here we still got a few more races to go. Who will punch their ticket in the playoffs? Who will have to wait till the Indianapolis Road Course or till uh, Rockingham to punch their ticket in? We're going to find out in just a moment. Let's roll the intro and we'll be back with your starting lineup here from Lucas Oil in just a moment. You are watching the Gaming Collaboration Network, home of the Jello Cup series. Oh man, for turns three and four, we're going to have ourselves another photo finish, and I believe this time the 43 Tim Randolph will win at Daytona. The Lift National Series. Here we go. They make their way through turn three and four. The pace car will peel off. And for the first time ever, the Lift National Series is green. Here at Daytona. The Hitachi Truck Series. And here we go. The pace truck is going to peel off, and for the first time ever in GTN history, we have a truck series, and we are underway under the lights here at Daytona, and Tuesday Night Heat. Your GCN presentation starts right now. Here we go, the starting lineup. It'll be on the left-hand side of your screen. A .68 mile oval today. These guys, these uh, NASCAR sanctioned series have been here since 2011. That's another big factor in this race. But surely we haven't missed the oval. And we're getting ready to get going midweek here. 
It'll be Dylan Ibrahimian and Tyler Faden. The green flag will fly. We're underway at Lucas Oil. Dylan Ibrahimian will lead the opening lap. And you got to imagine, some people watching this race, they got to be sitting here thinking, oh, the 36 is in the wall, by the way. That's going to open the door for the 39 of Tyler Faden. Oh, the caution is out. Dylan Ibrahimian will lead him back to the line. It's the 89, the 51. Alexander Rose, Scott Upton. See if some of these guys pit. If they do, we'll show it to you here. If not, we'll go see what happened. And it looks like that's a resounding no, so let's go see what happened. And you see just three wide there with some Meadows Con, uh, Alexander Rowe, and Scott Upton. And unfortunately, Scott Upton and Alexander Rowe, they kind of get the worst of it. And it looks like they brought the 98 and the 48 with them. Of course, keep in mind the 48 is one of those guys battling for the regular season championship, so not what he needs right now. As we're under our first caution here at Lucas Oil Raceway, we'll be back in just a moment with the green flag here on GCN. Here we go. We're getting ready for the restart here. It'll be Dylan Ibrahimian, Tyler Faden, Brodemar Ots, Giorgio Stumu, and before Zacco, your top five, then Keith Stevens in sixth, Muhammad Zain Abdullah in seventh, Casey Horton in eighth, Carter Joey in ninth, Dan Hummel rounds out your top ten. Congrats to Dan Hummel, by the way, got his first truck win at Canadian Tire. So, big highlight for him as the green flag flies, we're back underway. And again, some of these guys were scraping the wall earlier. Probably not used to the surroundings of this racetrack. I don't believe we've ever run here in Gel Cup or uh, Carvana Wildcard history. As you see the 36 up in the wall again. Will the 39 be able to get by this time? Here he goes to the inside. You won't be able to do it this time. And again, keep in mind, another thing to note, the top 19 at the end of this race, yes, it's a weird number, but we have a 38 car roster. So the top 19 after this race, they will lock themselves in to race A on Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon at the Indianapolis Road Course. The bottom 19 will be in race B. Again, both races at the Indianapolis Road Course will be for playoff points and it will make anybody eligible for the playoffs. But again, we do have one race contract drivers. I believe we've got four or five. So the field will be split in half for them. And you saw, it looks like smoke. Maybe it was the 16 of Jeff Scott but no caution so again you want to be in the you want to be in race A but of course if you're in race B it doesn't hurt you either chance to make up some points of course but you always want to be in good shape exiting this race because after this race of course and after Indianapolis is that double points race at Rockingham which is equally as important
course, that'll kick off the new month. Our schedule is on the GCN website. Um, yeah, so then, of course, these guys go to Bristol to open up the playoffs. Then they'll go to Chicagoland and the Charlotte Roval. That, of course, will make up round number one of the postseason for the GCN playoffs. Yeah, so these guys have two more road courses to get through as well. That's going to be quite a lot of fun for us. Did I just see a car dive under the pit lane? No, I did not. I am seeing things. Yeah, it looks like Dylan Ibrahimian has secured a playoff point. Keep in mind, he already has one entering this race. So now a win would put him... In the number seven seed uh, provisional, or for the moment, it would put him in the seven seed, possibly the six seed. And that, of course, would bump Michael Collins. And that means that the only way Keith Stevens gets in is by racing up to Alexander Rowe. And don't expect that to be an easy task. He is the defending cup champ, of course. Unless I happen to be missing something. I believe he's only got one win this year. Who knows? Maybe I didn't update my sheet. We'll see in a little bit, of course. But otherwise, he's going to need a playoff point to help him out. But he's ha having a good run today. He's running up in six, but he's under pressure from Mohamed Zain Abdullah. And keep in mind, Mohamed Zain Abdullah on Sunday has a shot to battle for the regular season title. Of course, he's going to need a lot to go his way. He's going to need Dustin Davis to have a really bad race. And Dustin Davis has a shot at the number one seed here in the Lyft National side. Of course, not in this race is Zachary Fitzwater Sr. He is the number one seed in the cup playoffs no matter what happens at the Brickyard on Sunday. You see Tyler Faden trying to stay in the wings here. But it's been all Dylan Ibrahimian today. He's just dominated, and I'm wondering if they're going to pit at all. I did turn on pit stop, so I don't know what's going on here. Oh, battle for the lead. It looks like the 36 got in the wall again. Here comes the 39. He's also been another one that's been really close this year to getting a victory, but has just not sealed the deal. And you could tell he's battling hard. He really wants that position. He won't get it, though. And Dylan Ibrahimian, for the time being, will hang on to the race lead. Six laps of racing to go. And if you think it's been pure dominance looking at the lap sled, you wouldn't be wrong, but he's been pressured for most of the day. Of course, he's made a few mistakes. He's scraped the wall a few times. That never helps. And there he goes again, hard into the wall this time. And this should really open the door for Tyler Faden, and it will. Tyler Faden to the race lead. Tyler Faden with a chance at a Lyft National Series victory. Of course, he's winless in one season, one and a half seasons of Cup. I don't believe he's fared well on the truck side. He's always lived in the shadow of Nathan and Eric Faden, who have been the class of the field, part of the class of the field in the Cup Series. As you see, they pit. And the big question now, 
is the fuel game. Who has enough fuel to get to the finish? Two laps, or three laps of racing to go is Frodo Marat's leads now. But that again, the big question. You know, can he finally break out of the shadows today as you see the rest of the leaders pitting? Keep in mind, you want to be very careful entering the pit lane here. It's not an easy pit entry. It's very easy to overdrive. And for the most part, I think the 39 won the race off. Keep in mind the 36 had damage, and that is a heartbreak for them because, of course, now they're going to have some work to do at the Indianapolis Road Course to try to get their first win of the season. Where is the 5? Keep this in mind. The 5 is a big question mark here, and it looks like he's going to cycle out to the race lead. So Frodo Marats becomes the race leader coming to the white flag it's one lap of racing to go presented by mitchell's memes how's about that a pit sequence for the five a lap later and somehow he leapfrogs the 39 and tyler faden again gonna have to settle for second as through turn three and four frodo Marats is gonna pick up his win here at Indianapolis Raceway Park. We want to congratulate him. What a win for that five team, but Tyler Faden, man. He's got to be sitting there like, you've got to be freaking kidding me again. Oh, man, he just got robbed. It's unfortunate, but it happens, and... The series, we'll see if he can, of course, get a win on the road course next race. Maybe even a win at Rockingham. You never know. want to thank you for watching. We're going to show you results and standings, and we will be back here on Saturday for two Lift National Races from the Indianapolis Road Course. Till then, goodbye, everyone.